Yo, this is Matt V2099. Today we're going to do, by popular demand, the tinfoil Glock. Okay, so tinfoil. I don't know how we're going to do this. This doesn't really make any sense. Just like this. Look at that. Oh yeah, dude. Check that check that out. Put another layer, a layer of zine on there. We're gonna have some serious wreckage here, some serious flawless wrecking here. I'm gonna get 75 people saying, you what mate? You what mate? I'm gonna be like, yes, I what mate. I should actually hide that. I generally don't like to show any safety gear. You know, it's none of your business. The more people have crying and getting angry, the better my videos will do, so. The tinfoil Glock. We tinfoiled it up because this is, this is a hater's dream right here. Uh, prediction, well, there's like four layers of tinfoil, so I don't think the slide will rack. I think it's enough to hold it because that slide really doesn't generate that much force. It's actually quite weak. Um, some people think, I have dudes that actually tell me the slide's gonna f freaking fly right off there and kill me because it'll hit me in the face. But um, if, a, if a dude threw a baseball and it hit you in the face, it would be much more force than this thing. So, all right, let's, let's see if this thing will work. First, we're gonna punch a hole, see, right in front of the trigger. We'll punch a hole there. Okay. Um, there we go. Break yourself, fool! Oh, snap! It didn't, uh, well, it didn't eject the case, so we're gonna rectify that. It didn't eject the, the brass, so we'll take our trusty K-bar. Chop a little hole. We'll just rewrap it and we'll chop a hole. Okay, here's one piece, and we will chop a hole. There we go, check that out. Let's see if it works. There's a round chambered. In fact, that makes a good trigger guard. Just pop a hole right in front of the trigger. We're still pointing into our backstop. Don't cry about that, you nerds. Okay, so what we learned is that we need even more area for the brass to escape. Uh, Glock is in battery. So we're going to reinforce this, but leave a nice hole there. Okay, so that's a really ambitious hole right there. Let's see if it'll work like this. Break yourself, fool! Nope. See, that little bit of tin foil is enough to slow it down so it doesn't fully function and uh, cycle properly. Damn. Well, there you have it, you know. Tin foil will defeat your Glock. Thanks for watching. You made it this far. I would love to hear what you have to say in the form of a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and tell me what other types of videos you would like to see. And if you want to drop a like or a dislike, that's also huge and I would appreciate it. Thank you and that be out.